Some time ago, I did some work with NES controllers, and I'd like to repeat that work with the SNES controllers, because I'm kind of getting interested in having extra buttons in uh, some project work. Now for the NES, I made up this cable for doing some initial test work. Now these connectors are kind of oddly bulky, and the SNES ones are a bit straighter. Got a couple of different ways I can do that. I bought one of these connectors. Now that works, but the pin separation here doesn't match like breadboard layout or, or strip board. So that'd be great for a custom PCB, but uh, it's not a lot of use until then. So I'm gonna use the same approach and mutilate a extension cable. So this should allow me to be able to make a simple cable that connects all the wires up. All right, let's see what we've got inside here. Looks a bit too fragile to use the wire strippers. Now we've got five wires inside here. So the extra two connectors in here for special peripherals are not extended. Doesn't matter to us because we don't need them. Let's see if the strippers can do this bit. Okay, that's kind of working all right. I think I'm going to shorten these down. Do need to work out what the connectivity is. Now it'd be really nice if the red and black wires here were actually power and ground. So this is the five volt line and it is not. Green wire is actually five volts. We're going to have to take careful note of all of those then. I think it's going to be easier to just get the pins on. Not sure what it is, but all the pins in this batch were a bit spread out. I have to squeeze them slightly with pliers to fit the crimping tool properly. Now the trick with these is to get just enough of the insulation in the end bit for a good grip without interfering with the wire bit. That felt fairly painless. Green was the first pin for five volts. Second pin is clock. Yellow. Third pin is latch, just the white one. Now just the naming of these confirms what I had been told that uh, the function of these is very similar to the NES controllers. So then the fourth pin along is data, 50-50 chance on this. That is the red one. Now that means at least the black lead is the ground you'd expect it to be but that's at the far end yeah okay there we have it nice little uh, snes to jupont adapter <laughs>